Let's have a look at the percentage of exam question per code and recommended practice. As per effectivity sheet for API 510, there are four codes, API 510 code, ASME codes 5, 8, and 9, and four recommended practices prescribed for examination. However, all of them are not equally important and therefore do not require equal emphasis. About 45% of questions are asked from one code API 510 alone, which is some 60 pages long, while the rest contribute to 55% mark, which are some 2000 pages. So if you look at our table here, API 510 code and API 572 um, would constitute 50, around 50% 50 of the questions. ASME section 8, division 1, construction code for pressure vessel is around 10 to 12%. ASME section 9, welding and API 577, welding inspection and metallurgy, around 10 to 12%. ASME section 5, a non-destructive testing um, uh, would constitute around 10 to 12 percent. API 571 damage mechanism 5 to 6 percent. API 576 3 to 4 percent. General knowledge and safety each 2 percent to 3 percent. Let's see what is this. Uh, API core certificates are about. API 510 is one of the three core certifications, the other two being API 570, uh, piping inspection inspector, and API 653, above ground storage tank authorized inspector. So when you compare the body of knowledge of these three, approximately 30% of questions for all these three core certification are from the ASME codes and API recommended practices. Um, so ASME section 5, ASME section 9, API 571 and API 577 is um, unique between all these three codes. Most of the inspector plan to get at least three core certificates, so it makes sense that once you have passed one of them, you can go for the other two because you already covered 30% of the uh, course material for the other two. <music> to get the API approval attending API 510 examination, you need to file the application form by registering with API ICP and you can use this link below or go to API ICP and apply. Uh, you should upload your qualification, provide two references, and pay the fees. $940 if your company is not an API member, or $730 if your company is an API member. Unfortunately, API does not grant individual membership like ASNT, um, American Society of Non-Destructive Testing, so you can only avail the reduced fee if your company is an API member. There is no individual certification by API. The minimum qualification requirement for API 510 pressure vessel inspector certification based on a combination of education and experience that you have acquired uh, within the last 10 years. So prior to submitting an application, please use the test table. For example, if you are an engineer, graduate engineer with one year of experience on supervision or performance of inspection activities uh, on pressure vessel, uh, you are eligible to attend the exam. If you are a technician or higher national diploma, higher national certificates or uh, um, assistant engineer, then you need two years of experience. If you are a high school diploma or equivalent, then it would be three years. And if you don't have any formal education, then it would be five years of experience. So two weeks exam window, what is this about? Please note that during registration with API, you are required to select one of the available two weeks time window. Once the time window you have selected, you cannot change it. Uh, which means that you can only sit for the exam within the selected two week window. So unless you decide to reschedule and pay the fee, 
for rescheduling $300, which is as good as failing the exam. So remember, if you do not attend the exam within the allocated two weeks window, for any reason whatsoever, such as being absent, no show up at the exam date, failing to book a slot, getting sick, non-availability of a slot in your preferred test center, and failing to book an available slot in another test center, uh, is as good as failing the exam itself. In this situation, you need to request a reschedule the same way as if you fail the exam and pay US dollar 300. Application deadline. So the deadline to get your application approved prior to your selected test window is around two and a half months. If your approval happens at the last minute, you might not be able to find a suitable available date or worse than that, you might not be able to get a seat at your favorite test center within the allocated two week window. While the next available test center may be hundreds of miles away or even in another country because Prometric would fill up the seats uh, on a first come first serve basis. This is because Prometric has only 3000 test center offer for API exam job across the globe. Hence, it is recommended that you register and get the API approval called API exam authorization notice email roughly four months prior to your scheduled exam. That is, do not choose the next immediate test window we recommend, but choose the one that is three to four months away at least. This is especially important for core API 510 exam. For other non-core API exams, there is a normally a good chance of getting the convenient test location and date at the next available test window. API 510 exam sequence. API core examination contain two parts. First, you would answer the closed book part two hours, 45 minutes for some 110 questions. After that, you have a maximum 45 minutes break where you can leave the building and also use the locker. After the break, you would start the second part, open book, and need to answer some sexy questions with uh, three hours, 45 minutes of allocated time using the reference documents in PDF format available on the computer screen. The word search is disabled, so you should know which document or also which section you should look for each each question uh, if you cannot find it go to the table of contents if you cannot find it there go to the table of a uh, list of figures or list of tables chances are you can find uh, the right page uh, to answer the open book question we shall explain how you navigate between the documents to find the right answer chart or formula you need to solve an open book exam question in the following models. 45 minute exam break between closed book and open book parts. Remember that the open book or second part of the API core examination automatically starts after the 45 minutes break or if you start the second part sooner by pressing number of exam question we said again that it was before that it was 170 question out of which 140 are scored remaining 30 are pretest question and not marked towards the score meaning that this pretest question does do not affect your score whether you have answered them correctly or incorrectly api does not tell you which ones of this question are scorable or non-scored the reason for this non-score pretest question is that API frequently adds up new question to their existing question bank. API needs to ensure that these questions are not significantly challenged by the candidates and also answered by a reasonable number of people before adding them to their uh, permanent question bank as a scored question. exam results immediately after completion of the exam you shall receive an email notifying you whether you have passed or failed your preliminary exam results may be a preliminary pass which is normally a pass a preliminary marginal which is too close to call or a preliminary not pass which is a fail normally 
you shall receive your confirmed score up to eight weeks after the last day of the two week examination window sometimes sooner it takes around another six to eight weeks to receive the certification and the wallet card if you have passed if you fail you need to apply for rescheduling and pay 300 us dollar you shall receive the exam authorization approval email normally within two to three working days you shall then book your seat with the prometric test center as soon as possible certification and recertification and cost so api 510 is valid for three years and would cost 940 dollars after three years you need to apply for recertification demonstrating that you still work as an api 510 inspector for 20 percent of the time recertification cost 730 us dollar you may apply for recertification 90 days prior to the certification expiration date and for a 90 day grace period after expire your certificate expires so if an application is not submitted by the end of 90 day grace period the certification will expire so you have to apply for a new you should uh, submit a new application pay the full fee and appear for the exam the full version of it API inspectors are required to take an online open book quiz every six years in order to recertify. Each quiz is 25 questions that addresses the changes in the API codes over the past six years, all the errors and all. So you have a total of four hours to complete the quiz and you can do it from the comfort of your home and you can even pause the quiz or interrupt it up to three times within four hours. If you fail the quiz once, you will be able to get it, uh, take it again. If you fail the quiz a second time, you will not be able to recertify. You will need to submit a new application and take the full version. Publication Effectivity Sheet and Body of Knowledge Publication Effectivity Sheet is a list of applicable reference documents that you need to study for the exam. It also tells you which section of document are applicable. It can be revised from time to time when the codes and recommended practices or the addendum are revised and becomes applicable. So you need to not only read the publication effectivity sheet, but also the right revision of it. Red color coded text within the publication effectivity sheet indicate a revision or a change from the previous API effectivity sheet. Body of knowledge also lists the reference codes and recommended practices without revision number and elaborates on topics that a pressure vessel inspector needs to know, giving examples. It shows what you are expected to know. Our e-learning is particularly designed around the reference documents and the body of knowledge and are revised accordingly as and when the publication effectivity sheet and body of knowledge changes. Area of examination score. Uh, you can see on this uh, list that uh, you would have uh, five questions from scope and general application of 510, 15 questions from damage mechanisms, 15 questions about repairs, 15 questions from non-destructive examination, 15 questions from welding, 10 questions from design, 20 questions from planning and 15 questions from inspection and testing practices, 4 questions from pressure relief valves, 20 questions from data evaluation, 6 questions about roles and responsibilities. This would be a total of 140 scored questions. <music>